When I tell people what I do, there's always this kind of, wow, I, I can't believe someone actually does this in London. I think one thing about being this kind of artisan is that there's a lot of curiosity because most people don't know how these products are made. They always repeat it back. It's like, okay, you make Mexican cheese under a railway arch in Peckham and you're an American. <laughs> I'm Richard from California. I worked for many, many years in the corporate world. I reached the age of 43 and said, you know what, I've had a great career, but I really did what I was supposed to do, and now it's time to do what I want to do. We make three cheeses, and the cheese we're making today is queso fresco. It's an incredibly fresh cheese that will be going out actually tomorrow morning at about 5.30 to our customers. Obviously, the cheese making day starts when the milk arrives and we get the milk out of our IBC into the vat and then we pasteurize it. The milk, until it's pasteurized, is dirty. Yes. And as soon as it's pasteurized, it's, it's clean. clean. Once we've ripened the milk, then rennet is added. And that is a coagulating agent that will turn the milk into basically a jelly-like, semi-firm mass. What I'm doing here is looking for the first signs that, that the, the particles in the milk are clumping together. This is a little bit like watching grass grow, but you know, it's exciting to us. Oh, there we go. Feel it, 33. So once the curd is at the level of firmness that we want, we then need to cut it. And that is a process that allows us to separate the curd and the whey so we have the right amount of firmness to create a final cheese. I'm cutting it into little cubes. Having much bigger surface area will allow it to shed whey. Now we have all the curd on the table and it's draining. Then what we need to do is mill it. This is a little pig mill, so it's essentially just a comb breaking up the curds to make it a little bit more manageable when we are moulding the cheese. Jeremy just sprinkled on salt and the salt is a measured quantity but again there is there's judgment in how much we put on. Then we'll all taste the curd and then decide about the level of saltiness. Working with our hands we will uh, put it into its mould and that's what it starts to look like it's the final cheese. At about three o'clock, we'll start the packing process, which is really satisfying because you know that you're, you're almost done with your day. I think the thing is, is when you do something like this, that you, you are putting yourself on the line and it does feel very personal. And you have the highs and you also have the lows. It's, it's <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> there have been plenty of mistakes and and you know, perhaps some open weeping over the vat at times. But you know, I think that that's what makes it really worth it. You know, I'm one of those people who is definitely an awful critic of myself. You know, you just you know, say eight great things and one bad thing and I'll fixate on the bad thing. But I think we have so far um, achieved so much. You're all in and you have to be all in. And that's what having your own business is all about.